These performed a muscular skeletal examination of this patient's knee, please. Hello, my name is Caroline McCarthy. I'm one of the GPs in the Department of General Practice. What's your name? Daniel. Nice to meet you, Daniel. I've been asked to examine your knee, and this will involve me looking at your knee, commenting on what I see, touching your knee, asking you to walk, and moving your knee. Is this okay? Yeah, that's fine, mate. Are you in any pain at all at the moment? So I'm satisfied with the exposure of the patient. Ideally, I would like to expose the joint above and below the knee, but for the purposes of this examination, I'm satisfied. So I'll move on now to have a closer look at the knee and the, the gait. Daniel, would you mind stepping down off the couch, please? So on, on inspection of the knee, there's no valgus or far varus deformity. Would you mind turning to the side, please, Daniel? and turning around and to the other side. Thank you. And back to the front. So there are no scars, there's no redness, um, and there's normal muscle, symmetrical muscle bulk, bulk um, of both quadriceps and calves. So now I'd like to assess the, the gait. Daniel, would you mind walking um, over there, please? And turning around and walking back. So there's no limp or antalgic gait, Daniel has a normal gait. Um, would you mind going back up onto the bed there? So I'll move on to feeling the knee joint now. Do you mind if I go out on the bed, Daniel? Yeah, of course. So I'm going to be feeling around your knee now. Please let me know if you're in any pain. Yeah, I will. So I'll start first by assessing the temperature and there's no excessive heat. So now I'll palpate the patella, looking at the patient's face for tenderness. Okay. Now I'll examine for an effusion. So there is no signs of an effusion and normal temperature at the knee joint, no tenderness around the patella. Next, I'll ask you to bend your right here knee, uh, Daniel, if that's okay, and bring your foot flat onto the bed. There's no crepitus. I'm just going to extend that out a little bit. Now I'm going to palpate around the lateral and medial joint lines. That's not sore at all, no, Daniel, is it? Fine. And I'm going to palpate around the tibial tuberosity and in the popliteal fossa for any tenderness or swelling. That's fine. You um, lengthen your leg out again there, Daniel. There's no crepitus. I'll do the same on this side if you put your foot flat down on the bed and palpate around the medial and lateral joint line and over the tibial tuberosity and in the popliteal fossa. You can extend your leg out again now. So, Palpation of both knee joints was normal. There was no tenderness um, and no excessive heat. I'll now move on to move. So Daniel, if it's okay with you, would you mind flexing your right knee, so bringing your heel all the way in towards the back of your thigh? And just let me know if you have any pain when you're doing this. Okay. And now if you lengthen your leg back out again and push your back of your leg into the bed and do the same on the other side. Lengthen your leg back out again. There was no pain. So Daniel has full range of active motion in both his knee joints. I'll now move on to passive range of motion. So Daniel, I'm going to move your leg for you. Please let me know if you're in any pain. So I'm just going to pass hate for crepitus as I do this. There's no crepitus. Daniel has full range of motion in both his knee joints. So now I'm going to move on to examining the um, cruciate ligaments. So Daniel, would you mind putting both your um, feet flat down on the bed, so bending your knee? I'm just going to sit on your feet, if that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just going to make sure that there's no sag of the tibia on the femur, there's not. So first I'm going to do the anterior draw test. So.
and the posterior. So putting pressure on the tibia. There's no pain and no excessive laxity. You can straighten both your legs out there now. So now we're going to examine the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. Please let me know if you have any pain with it at all. So I'm just going to take Daniel's leg and put strain on the medial collateral ligament. There's no excessive laxity and no pain. I'll do the same for the lateral collateral ligament. That's fine. Now, on the left side. So that completes the examination of the knee joints. Thank you very much.